Hey everybody, it's Brian David Cox, and today I decided to feed 100 homeless people lunch today. So I'm going to walk you through our department and show you what we got going on. So first we have our peanut butter department. Next we have our jelly department. And, and each lunch they'll get an apple. Granola bar. And water. So let's go over to our shipping department. <laughs> and then over here is where our stash of bread. We're going to use Dave's Killer Bread, Skippy Peanut Butter Creamy, and Kirtland Organic Strawberry Spread. So you always say video or picture or didn't happen. Well, here's your proof. I'm actually doing this, and hope to see you all around Portland, Oregon. All right, later. Hello. Water and lunch. You're welcome. Have a good night. Thank you. Get all the waters. more than I thought was here. Let's do this. downtown Portland and he lives on the streets? Oh, well, sort of. Sort of? See, uh, I was living in Colorado at the time and uh, I had a job at Wendy's and I had an apartment and I had friends and women and it was nice. And then uh, my friend who was living with me at the time, he, uh, he lost his job and because he couldn't pay his part of the rent, we lost the whole apartment. Mm -hmm. And when we lost the apartment, he took his car, which was my ride to work, and I lost my job. Oh. I ended up homeless in the streets of Boulder, Colorado for about six months. And then I met some kids that uh, like hitchhike and travel around the whole country and like see the world and stuff. And they, they brought me with them. This was January. And I've seen close to like 30 states and so. Oh, wow. That's, yeah. that's big Hitchhiking time. around and whatnot, yeah. So why did you pick Portland? Uh, just a hot spot. It's you awesome. hear about it all over. Like yeah. even over in Missouri, you hear about people talking about Portland and how cool it is to travel through. It's not as pretty. Yeah. You know, like I've been arrested three times already for a trespassing warrant that I got for sleeping under a doorway here. Oh wow. Yeah, they gave me a ticket for sleeping under a doorway, and now they're uh, they're threatening to extradite me from any state I go to to make sure I go to court for this. Wow, Portland's serious. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, um, so how long have you been on the streets? Oh, a total about a year and a month now. A year and a month? Yeah. And out of all the places, how would you rate Portland and taking care of the less for it? Top five. Top five? Top five. It's one of the better places to go because there's a lot of resources for people like us, but at the same time that attracts a lot of people who aren't so good and a lot of people who are good and like people get mixed opinions about us. And if there's too many of the people that go around like shooting up and just drinking all the time. It makes people like us, you know, like, I don't drink. I don't do meth, dope. I, don't, I, I smoke weed occasionally. And, like, I smoke cigarettes. Which a lot of people in Portland do. Yeah, so, you know. But I mean, <laughs> yeah, I guess you have your preference, so. <laughs> but I mean, like, it's like, I don't do these hard drugs, because, like, I have to stay healthy so I can travel around, you know? It yeah. takes a toll on your body. Yeah. And I, I want to be healthy for myself, you know? So when you're traveling, what do you do for uh, food? Normally I have a food stamp card. Uh, oh, okay. You can apply for these some places and they'll give them to homeless people. Uh, some places won't give them to homeless people, but mine recently, uh, they just turned my card off out of New Mexico. So uh, tomorrow I'm going to go down to the office and apply here. Oh, wow. Because I hear they hand them out to people here. Wow, no, that's good. See, I didn't even know if the homeless people here even got that. So yeah. it's a lot. Um, what else do you do, like, during the day? So you... If I need money for other things, like, you know, if my gear starts to fail or if I need, like, dog food or something, like, I'll fly a sign, but my signs never say, like, you know, can you help me, can you give me money? It's like, it's like, you know, I'll fly a sign. Yeah. If people feel like they want to donate, they can donate, you know? I'm not forcing anybody to pull money out of their pockets because okay. I want to make them feel bad for me, you know? I want people to be happy. I'm happy. You know? Okay. 
You didn't bring your sign, but it, can you tell everybody what the sign said? Well, I had a smile. Uh, it said, the end is near. And then I had a little sign that came up behind it and said, smile right across the top of it. So, can you, that's pretty cute and funny. Can you explain what's the end is near? Uh, it's just to catch people off just, guard. Just to be, and like, some people might take that serious and be like, yeah, oh. they do. And then I let them walk off with that notion because that's them taking it how they felt, you know? Yeah. And it's like, it's one of those things where like everybody's going to get a different reaction because everybody's on a different level about something. True. True. You know, true. whether it be religious views or political views. Wow. So do you s see yourself getting off the streets anytime soon? Or do you kind of like traveling and not having no rules? Not necessarily soon. I do enjoy the traveling and the rule freeness. But like I said, you know, we get messed with the cops. Like the cops really dig on us a lot. And uh, eventually I think I'll settle down. You know, uh, I went to Job Corps for 10 months when I was younger, after I got out of high school, and I'm a certified welder through there. Oh, okay. Yeah, I went there for 10 months, and I, I studied, and I learned pretty much all the different forms of welding. And wow. it was really hard for me to find a job at first for that, and so I worked in my first like, job at home. Okay. So, but I figured later down the road, if I, you know, just, you know, while I'm young, traveling, and then exactly. I don't feel like I can travel anymore, just post up some work well, because everybody needs welders. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, traveling, and no... You know, no responsibilities, I guess it's cool. I didn't think it scared me about food and sleep. Um, now for my next question. <laughs> Anything else you want to say to YouTube, the viewers, people in Portland? Yeah, we're not all that bad. Be see kids on the street, you know, be nice to them. Yeah. Don't don't be mean to them. Yeah. 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 Don't People like us, man, we'd love to just talk. We don't really want your money. Yeah, and, or, or any help, really. I mean, I yeah, know a lot I mean, of people like, who want money, but it's like, are you hungry, or do you just want money, and what are you going to do with that money? Yeah, you so. know what I mean? Like, I mean, even if even if it is food that I need, you know, I usually get, like, I, I get help even when I don't ask for it. Like, uh, I I take kind of a different look on things. It's like, the more positive I put out, the better I feel about the world, the happier I am, the more that comes back to me. Uh, exact karma? Kinda. Karma, it's kinda. it's like uh, you ever heard the secret or manifestation. Mm -hmm. It's like the more you will your thoughts into existence, the more real they become, whether they're negative or positive thoughts. Uh -huh. And uh, the more positive you are about everything, the more of your positive thoughts become real. But the more negative you are, the more negative things become real. Even true. if even if they don't seem like they could be real. True. True. So are you always on the street? No, no you. Just what I. When I come here, I kind of wander around, but at night I usually float down by Voodoo because I love the place. There you go. He's down by Voodoo, so come say hi to him. He's a really cool kid. I called you that. I'm not even sure your age, but... No, no, I go by <laughs> kid on the streets. It's good. <laughs> yeah, just call him good. <laughs> All right, so this is Brian and this is Mary, and we're signing off. Back to you guys later. I challenge you guys to try to top what I just did. I fed 100 homeless people in Portland, Oregon. I want to see what you can do. All right, later.